Hello, welcome. This is Kench1913. And another stream this week. Look at that. You're very lucky. I, uh, we're going to be doing Dragon Quest Heroes 2. In the last episode slash stream, we just started the game. And in this episode, we hopefully will get to Dunesia. Which is the kingdom that our main characters are from. All right. We don't need to see any of this. 30th anniversary. Congrats. Dragon Quest. I heard that they're looking to remake Dragon Quest. Uh. Yeah, not yet. No, we're not going to do, do that. But anyways, I heard they're remaking Dragon Quest 3. That should be cool. But the, the, I guess they want to focus more on Dragon Quest 12. Honestly, can't they do both? We can chew gum and... We can chew gum and eat at the same time or whatever. Alright, so in the last episode we explored uh, this Accordia. We grabbed some things. We did not buy... You know what? We did not buy... Uh, armor. That's the only thing I'm worried about. Hmm. We only have enough to purchase one right now. That's all right. I think I'm going to give it to Torneco. All right, we're good. We'll come... We'll come back and... We... I enjoy the running aspect in this game. What's up, Abel? How are you? Hi, right, welcome to the Grand Dunes. Yeah, I hope I hope you uh, meet Yuji Hori, man. That's gonna be cool. You can't jump up over there. Oh, we got new enemies, mud dolls. And yes, we got the Dragon Quest VII battle theme. Oh, we got Flame Spirits. I hope, uh, what's-his-name is picking up all that good gold from beating these creatures from Torneco. Oh yeah, now I can actually switch. So let's, let's show off her, her abilities. I think... Oh, yeah. Alright. Well, I can't... So, yeah, Zap is what you think it is. Alright, let's beat some... Let's smash here. Oh, he's gonna be letting... He's gonna be letting fans take pictures. I hope that's not, like, yeah, that's a great, that's Parallax. Yeah, I kind of hope that he doesn't, like, charge to take a picture. And he's just letting people, like, I get, I get paying for the autograph, but, like, having to pay for a, a thing is, it would be, uh, would be kind of sad. Yeah, so there's, alright, now it's time to, Take on Torneco, or use him for the first time. Won't be the last. He's not dead. Yep, there's the flail of destruction. Alright, so let's look. Alright, we're out of battle. I actually think I want to equip... Yeah, see? More gold nuglets from slimes. Yeah, well, it's wor I guess it's worth it. Alright. <laughs> Alright, let's go take on some... Let's take on some flames. 
Yeah, we have a mega monster there. This is the that's the hunter's bow, which is a pretty good weapon. Uh oh. Oh. There's a sage's stone right there. Oh shit. There we go. And this is the Flail of Destruction. And we beat our first golem. Alright. Koneko, where are you running off to? Let's see. Is there anything here? Alright. So, let's see what we can pick up. Colossal Cactus. So yeah, we have a poisonous swamp here. I don't think there's anything over there. If we come over here, we can fight some more slimes. Just go to town. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to probably end up... Oh yeah, so as you can see over there on the right-hand corner... Um, there's your Drassial leaves. Those are if your character dies while we're out here, you can use them to bring back your your uh, your health or your revive them pretty much. They're gonna be have a playable version of Dragon. Oh, cool! Well, if you end up ch checking it out, tell me tell me what it's about, man. Let me know if the battle system's cool. All right, let's run this way. I'm probably going to run back to Accordia. Yeah, so this is this is a new this is a new feature in this game out in the wild. Sometimes when you're out in the wild, oh, you might not try it. All right, fair enough. Fair enough. Yep, so out in the wild is sometimes you'll meet uh monster uh, people in, out in the wild um and they need your help defeating monsters. Uh, so if you defeat all the monsters near them, near the guy or gal, they'll actually, they'll actually, uh, they'll actually give you, say, see, they'll give you extra experience, which is nice. And everybody, and everybody gets that experience, by the way. Not just, um, not just the, whatever your character is. So keep a lookout for care uh, and NPCs. Okay. Before we get too crazy, before I continue heading south, I'm actually gonna head back because I want to pick up some. Uh, although 180. Uh, what's this say? Oh right. Okay. Let's see. Head through the tunnel to reach Denusia. Aim for the giant skull. So yeah, if you were just walking straight here. Hey, Marshy. Hey, Marshmallow. So yeah, if you were just heading straight through the big giant uh, skeleton here, you'd probably be like, oh, there's a sign. Oh, itty bitty bone. Oh, what's this? Wanted she slime. All right, mark monsters. I don't remember seeing this before. But then again, I didn't make it too far. Keep an eye on the battlefield for bases with their names. Mark monsters. They're wanted by the authorities. They're tougher than the average enemy. All right, well that's good. Yeah, as you can see, this she slime is already very is already really tough she's gone though and like that she's gone non colossal fossil
It looks like someone would burn it if someone fried it with frizz. Now, right now we do not have a spellcaster. I'm sure we'll meet somebody. Alright, let's head back really quick because I want to buy those orbs. I would love to buy some more weapons, but that would take a while. And I don't have all day. Don't be biting the cable. Don't be biting the cable, kitty. Alright, we're back in Accordia. We're gonna buy four. One, two. Yeah, okay, four. All right. Nope, I won't be purchasing. I won't be. Yeah, well, yeah, that's true. You'll be able to tell what characters you can recruit due to the overall, especially if you know who's already uh, on the way. So I'm going to give you a leather orb, even though it only brings up a little bit, but it's better than nothing. And everybody gets defense. Okay, we're good. Um, yeah, unfortunately, I can't buy... I would really love to buy this. It br it'll bring up his attack power a lot. But the, I guess the one that he has helps bring up your your MP. See, so right now I don't think I can I can collect on any of those capture uh, any of those wanted monsters yet. So all right, we're done here. Let's head outie this way. All right, now we're now we're not gonna fart around. Or we're not gonna. Hey, James, what's up? Now we're definitely not farting around. So let's do it. Oh yeah, and as you go up levels, obviously, you'll get skill points. And after battle, you can always put those skill points into whatever you want. I kind of like uh, La uh, Lazriel because he can really... You can really, um... It feels like his attacks are just quicker. Like, if you, if you want to play similar to the, the way that you played... The way that you played in the original, you could totally use Teresa. Oh, look, there's a golem over there. Let's get... Let's kick his ass. Yeah, you want to pick up the royal soil. That's good stuff. Yeah, as you can see, we're not. We are ready for this area, but we're not. Because we're such... Oh, I am... I am... Girdloiner. We are sort of ready for this area, but we're not. Because it's like... Quake and Resistance. Yeah, I'll take that. I have not decided what jobs. Right now, I'm just going to keep them both as warriors. When I get a chance to change jobs, I'll probably keep uh, Lazriel as a warrior. Just for the time being. Maybe I'll make what's-her-name a mage. But I want to see what other stuff I can do. And also, it would help to know... It would also help to know what kind of abilities... What other abilities I can learn. Yeah, there we go. That's how you take care of, uh... Hey, Zero, what's up? I know you can unlock jobs by mastering other jobs. Unlock Gladiator while ma uh, Yep, okay, well... Let's see, we have another golem. Yeah, it's... Yeah, my we- oh. Everybody's weapon sheath? Yeah, so we got more skill points to allocate.
Yeah, these are the warrior abilities. Body Slam and Morale Master. What level she gotta be on? 20. Let's see. Boop, 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 boop. I like this. Gain more tension when fired up. Hey, Colleen, what's up? I'm doing great. We're just playing some Dragon Quest Heroes 2. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm going to wait on that Moses. Yeah, I pretty much want to get all his abilities ASAP. I need one more. All right. Although the holy water is not really So yeah, they they break it up by red means uh red means like attack, you know, and stuff like that. Blue, green means like healing and and I guess yellow means more status stuff. So, let's see. I'm going to change to uh Desdemona. I'm all yours. And I'm we're going to kick the crap out of this guy. Oh, nice. The defense is down. Yeah, she can definitely right now deal the most damage. Yeah, she's great. Alright, we just took care of those guys. Oops. All right, we crush them. The bridge is out. Typical. They don't want to they don't want to fix the bridges. So let's continue south. No, nah, not going to bother. Not gonna bother with just three. Ooh. Alright, what's over here? Golem. Crushing the golem. Hit him from behind. Yeah, Lufia one. Lufia one is. Uh, it's got a weird bridge. I don't know if that's where I need to go. Let's see. Yeah, I guess it is. Yeah, does. Yeah, she's pretty. Boom! Knocking down the the. Knocking down the barrier Desdemona style. All right. So we come up to uh, our first merchant fella outside of the town. He's traveling a trader. Ambush a monster. And I'm on the way to Accordia. I'll be fine. Blah, blah, blah. Do you want me to do something for you? All right, so what we have to do is rescue this guy over here. We got new skeletons, or new new skele skeletons and ghosts. There we go. We saved his ass with one swipe of our one swipe of our uh, get out of here, ghosts. With one swipe of our of our hammer. They're t they're Audi. I'm not gaining as much gold as I want. But yeah, let's check out some of these skeletons. Ouch. Oh, treasure! I'm glad I came this way. These ghosts are... 
Now, you know how in the first area the, the slimes were just chilling? And a lot of the enemies weren't picking a fight? These guys are picking a fight. We got a sizable seashell. Oh, he quoted from the peanuts. Well, it is a good comic to be quoting from, I guess. Charlie Brown does have a lot of great lines in that. E Alright, so... Have I used Parallax? There we, there we go. Everybody's going up levels. Oh, we got our first rock bomb guys over here. I didn't. I don't think I get a. I don't think I got the builder's outfit. All right, and it's good to just come up. It is, I will admit it is good to just come around and beat the crap out of it, creatures. Just so you can get some good items. Come on, Taloon. Unsheed that weapon. Let's go. I, I really like this game on how... On how, um... You know, it's more open world... And you don't feel, you really don't feel like you're, uh, you're stuck in one area. I did not get the builder. I think if, I don't think it's, uh, the builder's outfit that you get for the DQ save data. I want, or I think it's the, um, the hammer. All right, let's take out some fire, guys. And then we'll continue downwards. Don't blow up in my face. This guy seems... Oh, never mind. I was gonna say, he seems a little bit larger than usual. Whee! Wow, Torneco took them Ow! All right. Flail of destruction time. You will not have Tornarco dancing like in the other games. I will beat you before you can. Although it would be funny to see him dance. Yeah, look. Look at him dancing. Silly Tornarco. All right. All right, let's keep heading this way. If there's like a large group like this, I'll take them out. Wow. His, his thing is great. He's a, he's gonna be a good healer, at least for the time being. Until we get um, I don't know if they, I don't know if they give Kiro like a actual healing abilities in this game. I don't know, and honestly, I don't know if they have a full time. That might be something I look into. Maybe a pre, maybe make someone a priest or something. Wee. Oh yeah, let's use her a little bit. All right, we got our golem here. Yeah, that. All 
There we go, we wrecked them. Yep, Torneco used the giant boar. Oh, look, we got a leather orb over here. I didn't need to buy it. I wish I knew. Oh, well. Ah, now I can sell the Wayfarer's orb. But yeah, Taneko used the Flail of Destruction, which is uh, one of the best, one of the best weapons in the uh, 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 Dragon Quest. I think five. One of the better weapons. It usually hits uh, multiple groups of enemies. I think maybe everybody on screen, if I re if I recall. But yeah, Torneco is pretty awesome. Hey, TG, thank you for hosting. Hello. Hello, kitty. So how's everybody in the chat doing this evening? I hope everybody's doing great. Alright, we've pretty much taken out most everybody. Alright, there was something here, right? Oh, there we go. Alright, so yeah, hit the zoom stone. So that if we need to, we can now warp right here. What are those cool flags you got there, Thiji? Is that like your own emote? Oh, it looks like Lazriel's in uh, high tension mode. I wonder if I should use that before I head in here. Yeah. Whatever. So yeah, as you go through, as you go through different areas, um, then that's when you'll do the missions, which are very similar to to um, what is it? Well, they're similar to the original Dragon Quest, where you'll do like missions. Yeah, cats are cool. Oh, that's pretty cool, TG. I like it. Yeah, I got I got four cats. You miss being catless. All right, so now we gotta go talk to the. Um, Oh, good. Then, then I can then I can use his uh his thing. So we gotta go talk to the merchant and see what he's got. See if he'll hand us a uh, his thing. Uh yeah. I got four cats. I got two. You know, one white cat, marshmallow. She's white and and black. Then we got two Russian blues, I believe. They're called Russian blues. And, um... Then just another tabby. Alright, so this guy ran off with his... He ran off with his client list, which is kind of funny that... A monster would even... Would even deal with a... A client. Or take a list, right? And here we get our monster metal holder. This is uh this is similar to the what it was in the first game, but different. That's all that's how I'm gonna explain it. Pretty much what it does is you with certain ones you can literally catch a monster and then you can have them go into <coughs> certain parts of the world and they do things, right? Just similar to the other game, but something different in this game is when you beat a giant monster, you can actually get their coin and transform into them, which is cool. All right, so let's see. I'm glad I didn't go that way earlier. All right, let's go get that monster list. Oh, I wasted this. We picked up a... A Grenade metal. So, basically, they'll come to the ground. And then they'll disappear, I believe. So, yeah, there's three different... There's 
different types of metals. There's the savior ones, which are blue. Hello. There's the sentry ones, which are red, which is like the skeletons and whatnot. And then there's the substitutes where you'll literally turn into them. Yeah. Summon to support you with their trademark moves. But they'll disappear as soon as they're done. And right now we get to hold up to, what is that, eight? Mummy. So yeah, you can, you can have them come and... They'll basically be like your guards or whatever. Man, I am going to waste this if I don't get moving here. Let Hold on to your hat. One thing uh, they, they did do in this game that they didn't do in the first game is they have uh, taken away um, the animations. If you want, you can, t you can get rid of the animations. All right. There's so many treasures and things. Let's come over here and use this. Alright. Hey, no biting the wire. Ouch. Alright, thank you, Helix. And here we picked up the Golem Medal. Which is gonna be pretty cool. Alright, so, whoops, I went through that a little quickly. So how it works is... You'll, you'll substitute your character and then you have three moves that you get. You know, square, X, and, and uh, circle. And those, But I screwed that up. I went by too quickly. But once you become said monster, you'll see it. So it's all good. Alright, back to you. Let's continue on this way. I want to head this way. Over here. Oh, shit. We got an armored knight. Yeah, we can summon monsters. We can literally become the monster. I didn't think that this guy would talk. All right, so now it's time to kick ass. Oh yeah, so it shows you over here. Yeah, and, it, and during that time, you don't really take any damage, so go. Yeah, so you don't lose any HP turning into the golem. And punch him right in the face with a nice punch there. Sweet. And yeah, you can de you can definitely uh, have some fun with turning into monsters. At least you don't get at least you don't lose HP when you do it. Very cool. So yeah, there's really nothing. <laughs> Can't leave without checking the treasure. Mini metal. Nice. Alright, so we're going to head up this way. This time around. And touch the zoom stone here. 
All right, now we we can come to the oasis if we warp. Very cool. Yeah, the only thing I'd have to say is when you're summoning, when you're a a summon monster, make sure that there's tons of enemies around. Thank you, Torneco. Oh, come on. There we go. Before we head back, one last thing I want to just check up here to the tip top of this area. Okay, yeah. I just want to make sure. And of course, it always pays off. Well, not always. Locked! Ah, damn it. Oh, well. Who thought it'd be locked? Maybe, maybe eventually I can... Well, look, there's a creature. Is that a Metal King Slime? Already? Oh, it's a big cloud thing. Alright, let's finish taking care of these guys. Yeah, so she plays. She pretty much plays like Lucius in the other game. Very similar, although I think she's a little quicker. All right, has everybody put their gear away? What are you talking about? All right, let's give Torneco his last ability here, or not the last one, but all right. Now he knows Wonder One, which cures. All the afflictions. So that's good. Alright. I don't want to learn your abilities yet. Hmm. I'm going to gain more tension. Extend high tension by two seconds more. Very nice. And Torneco, you're good. I honestly am not going to set that other one. Although, employs an incredible magic to cure your allies of all afflictions. Or, ah, you know what? I don't need things to keep. I don't need to keep stuff at bay. Alright, so let's go see what that big ass cloud is. Oh, look at this cloud guy. You know what? I, I I am... I will admit, I am impressed. I, I would not think that they... Look at that! We could turn into a cloud? So he's got Plasma Dome, Thunder Rush, Thunder Bolt. But yeah, impressive on how they were able to make uh, that creature. I will admit. Alright, let's... Let's turn into the cloud. Everything's in the cloud now, guys. Wow, that's pretty good. Mm. All right. We picked up a mud mannequin, which is a century. I'm gonna try and pick up every uh, metal if possible. All right, let's head back to the uh, the guy.
Yeah, that that is pretty cool. The, the transformation of the monstering it is pretty sweet. And yeah, he's so happy that we did it. So now he's going to give us a, the rite of passage or writ of passage or whatever. And yeah, he's going to even let us keep the monster metal holder. What a nice, what a terrific guy. All right. We're heading back to Accordia. I know what you're thinking. What are you doing? Well, there was that one weapon I wanted to get. And I'm pretty sure I have enough money. Which will help out Torneco immen immensely. Even though, technically... It, um... Technically, it won't let him... Gather more money, but whatever. Sure. Standard abacus. So, yeah. His proficiency is better with two swords. And hers is better with that. So, we can go to the boss guy and... Yeah, let me just double... Gold earn 5% more. So, if I need it, actually... I think I'm gonna get items that'll help me get more gold anyways. No, it's not this guy. It's over here. Yeah, I can, I'm not war warping in the online mode yet. It goes great. Hiya! So we both learned that. She learned an ability. A series of Swiss classes with slumber reducing knife. I love how Torneko gets all the items. I love how he gets all the items. So if we go to skills now, no. If we go to attributes. Oh, it's probably in skills, right? All right. Oh. oh, there we go. Dream Dagger. You know what? I can put it over here for now. I want to see what it looks like. And she got Cracker Whack. Good for her. And yeah, we didn't learn it. I guess it's just a... I guess it's just a skill we can use. Just an extra ability that you can use. And yeah, I don't think I can change jobs just yet. Yeah. Oh, well. Now, can I just zoom back? To All right, cool. I can just zoom wherever I want. Look at me. Slime's having a good time on the old seesaw. Yeah, this game... Look at that. Oh, cool. He does... Yeah, he does have that one weapon that... Or... Man, he is just... He's just full of references. I love it. Alright. Now that we have our rite of passage, you're gonna let us through? Don't try anything funny now, you hear? So now we can head to Outer Dunesia, which is a war zone. Which now we can go to the next battle. Yeah, I'm pretty much I'm pretty good and ready. Look at more slimes on the seesaw. Okay, here we go. Are in trouble. Oh, Maribel, are you okay? You can see perfectly well that 
I'm fine. Just what do these idiots want with us anyway? They've certainly got a funny way of making friends. What are we gonna do? I don't know. Maybe find some food. Oh, you forget about your stupid stomach for one minute. Oh. <sighs> what are they doing? That's half the Tunisian army down there. Why would two little kids try to Never take mind them the who's and why's. They're about to get made into monster food. Hey! Hold on, we're coming oh, to get no! you! Hold on! Oh, you can't just go charging in alone. That's basic tactics. You're right, of course. We'd better get after them. If my suspicions are correct, this is only the Tunisian vanguard. We need to get those two out of there before the rest of the army arrives. Good point. To be honest, I think Marybelle and Gabo will... Uh, Alright, so if you ever want to exit and counter on Cassie Vac, but I'm not gonna bother. By accident, just open the menu. Don't worry, you won't lose any items, gold, or experience by beating an early retreat. I think we're gonna be fine. All right, we picked up a ghost metal. Use a supernatural powers to summoner and summoner to make the summoner's MP. Oh, good. I really, I will admit this. I really love Mary Bell. Her voice, her voice is terrific. They picked the right, the right, like, whatever for this character. Yeah, I love Spinferno, by the way. Alright, Dancing Flame, they do a fiery vortex. Oh, right. Yeah, we're doing pretty good. We're crushing the... What the hell? Yeah. It's just funny that, like... Ooh! Hunter Mech! Not from Torneco, look at him. You think Torneco would eat a poison lunch? Give me a break. Alright, we got a reckless. Alright, metal man. Time to take rock hard fish. Yeah, this is not working. Not working as well as uh. But her attack should be doing more damage on on the metal guy because she's got the metal sword or something. Are we doing a dancer? Heal me, Torneco. Thank you. What a nice guy. Yay, Mary Bell.
Danny Pig. Well, well, mm. look who it is. Your Majesty, might I ask what you're doing here? You stand on Dunisian soil, and with an army no less. I regret that my hand was forced. We received word that they were preparing to mount another assault. As King of Harbour, I cannot stand idly by while my lands and my subjects are attacked. That is why I and all my men have crossed the border. What? We will drive back the tide of marauders ere it reaches us. What about they do a sneak Maybe attack or something? Head, let them try. But let it be on the battlefield, and not in my people's heart. But where will it all end? What if Tunisia and Harbour keep on hey! fighting to... Can one of you lot please tell me what you're all blathering on about? Where exactly are we, and what exactly is oh, going on? I'm sorry, Susie. Let's uh oh, sweetie. don't call her sweetie. You know, talking to me like a three-year-old. I do have a name, you know. I am Maribel, and this flea-ridden little midget is Ruff. His head is really big. Compared to the rest of his body, it's really big. Yeah, Torneco is going to be MVP for quite some time, James. He's the healer, for sure. What's Tunisia? And yeah, his name is Rough, but I will call him Gabo. I wish they would have put Melvin in this game. God, that would have been awesome. Melvin would have been great. You never know, they might add him for another game. You know who they could have added, honestly? They have no Dragon Quest V characters, right? There's like three characters they could have added, right? They could have added, um, yeah, Torneco is just as lost as you guys. But yeah, they could have added loss as potato and fruit salad. That's a, that's a, that's an interesting, uh, phrase there. But yeah, they could have added Sancho. Actually, there's four characters now I'm thinking about. They could have added Henry. They could have added Sancho. They could have added Pippin or Two Pence. And they could have added, um, Papa's. Oh my god, if they did Dragon Quest Heroes where you could play as Papas, I would I would pick that up so fast. Oh my god, that'd be awesome. I know I you know it sounds like I guess technically it is fanboying out right now, but anyways, yeah. What? They want us to hang out together. Oh god. So yeah, she's like, yo, if any of you call me sweetie again, that's it. You know what it is? It's Gabo's head is very wide. It's as wide as his entire body. I mean, it could be just because he's a kid right now. But, wow. Alright, so, Mary Bell is all about the long range. She uses a boomerang. I don't know if she... Yeah, I think she was able to equip the boomerang back in the in at Dragon Quest Seven. She pretty much takes the place of Isla... She can use fire spells rather than rather than um yeah rather than um I believe I Isla used like uh, wind spells and then Ruff or Gabo he he's a uh, he's more of a monk class in this game and he uses like his uh, wolf buddies to tear creatures to shreds and yeah we can always look in the miscellaneous section. The boy who ride wolf. So there we go. We got results. We got spoils of war. When you're in fighting battle that carries a melee from another, you can choose to pick. The bit, bit, bit. So let's just uh, right now we we got our four characters here. Let's see what the reco reckless. Coup de Gras. Coup, you know what? I'm going to give that to him. And what I'll do is I'll take this off and give this to you. So everybody has, uh, everybody has thing. Yeah. Yeah, sadly it does, it does, Dragon Quest V does not get enough love. So 
see, I don't know if I want to bring up these warrior skills. Although, if these are skills that everybody can learn, I don't know, I'm going to hold off just a little longer. I'm going to... Oh, I need more. Let's increase your strength by five. I'm sure just like in Dragon Quest 1, or um, Dragon Quest 1, I'm sure just like in Dragon Quest Heroes, the first game, you're not able to uh, learn all the abilities. Let's cast you back. We'll come back. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna swap out rough with um. See, I don't. I would swap out rough with my main character because I've already shown him off. But I know this next part. I got my ass handed to me when I had Mary Bell and Ruffin. I might just keep these guys. Oh yeah, and you can chit chat with these guys. Yeah, they're pretty cool. They'll be, they'll be, uh... Ruff's pretty good. Mary Bell, I haven't been able to figure out how to... I have not been able to figure out, um, how to, how to use her efficiently. So now that we're here, we can head over here. And yeah, she equips with a boomerang. She can also equip this, which I'm going to do. And we're going to give her a leather orb. He's got steel claws. And yeah, you can spin him around. And yeah, we're totally giving him these great saber cat claws. Look at him. He's got barongo hands. That's great. So there you go. Defense is up. Um, what else was I going to do? Oh yeah, let's show off what abilities we can give them. So yeah, like I said, she learns Frizz, and then she can't learn these till later. Unlike the original game, right? Uh, once you learn an ability, you can learn the second ability right away. But in this game, they kind of make it so that you can't learn everything right away, like really quickly. Like if you had enough skill points. Hissy fit shit, yeah, we're gonna learn that. And we're gonna learn Cassap. Because that's a great ability to have. And then for Ruff, we're gonna have him learn Whistle. Which will be good if we need to fight enemies somewhere. We're gonna do Flame Breath. Which is also very good. And we're gonna do Call of the Wild. He summons vicious animals to to come and take on whatever. So let's equip her with her things. And it really doesn't matter where you put these. Call of the Wild. And right here. All right, so what level are we on? We're on nine. Did I talk to you, Maybell? Yeah, unfortunately, we gotta head back to the desert. Um. Well, hello. All right, I'll put in Gabo. All right, uh, Col Colleen, thank you for showing up. Don't be a stranger. Yeah, I'm not a fan of boomerangs either, Abel. At least not in Heroes. I liked her, honestly, I liked her for... for uh, I like Isla for her spells and stuff, and like that she was able to do more damage using the, um... using the, the ballista. But... 
Can I change classes yet? Or no. Oh yeah, now that we have new characters, we have new weapons to buy. Yay. Not that that's bad, by the way. So yeah, the gust of rain's not even as good as the one that we have. And the steel claws are not even as good as the ones that we have. So, thank you for giving us, uh, I'm glad the DLC actually gives us alternative weapons. Um, that actually are pretty good for even the beginning of the game. Like, originally in the first game, they were just there and they were alright, but... But they only lasted like maybe two or three battles and then it's like, yeah, they're already old, which is unfortunate. At least, at least in this uh, game, the games that, or the items that you get for the DLC are actually not too shabby. Yeah, I'm pretty much uh, gonna keep Torneco in for for the foreseeable future. Press forward and protect the King of Abba. Oh yeah, I wonder if Zap works like... Oh, it does. Great. Alright, cool. Alright, so we want to kill the Maw Keeper. Because they'll keep bringing on the, um, these are Night Maws, I'm sorry. They will keep summoning monsters and we don't want them to, so you gotta destroy them. Oh, they are called Maw Keepers. Where'd he go? Boom. Oh, and we got ourselves mud here. Or oil. Black gold waiting to be mined. Oh, damn, man. If only I had Mary Bell in the group. There we go. Oh, okay. At least what's his name had uh, fire. Oh, get out of there. Gabo has fire breath, so that's pretty good. Yeah. There we go. Two. Why does this game have the fur? Uh, have mixed reviews? I don't know. Maybe people don't like the the style of uh, gameplay. I don't know. I love it. I mean, if this game has mixed reviews and people say Hyrule Warriors is like s superb, then I then people have their friggin' uh, people have their heads up their asses. But I guess this is a game where like I don't know more for the fans. Maybe I don't know. There we go. Yeah, this game's a lot of fun. Yeah, how about no?
Uh oh. We got Donk here. He's even got a helmet. It's gonna protect him from concussions and shit. So yeah, you got your field marshal guy. Here we go. Punch, rock punch, rock punch, rock punch. There we go, Maw Keeper. Yep, Dragon Quest coming out and 12 is coming out in September. All right. Ow, ow. Ow. This game is more of a hack and slash game than anything. It's like Dynasty Warriors. Oh, you're gonna make me lose my uh, coup de grace. But yeah, it's pretty much like a Dynasty Warriors. Come to the pyramid. I don't want to go to the pyramid. Why is he running away? Get him. And of course. Hold on to your hats. What a waste. That governor? Yeah, it looks like a fighting game, but it's a lot more. Well, actually, it, it's definitely a huge upgrade from uh, from the first game, which I'm not gonna I'm not gonna complain about the first game. I mean, it's the first game. What do you want? You can always make like a superb or like a uh, perfect like game right off the bat. You know, sometimes you gotta you gotta start off with a nice clay or whatever, and then mold it to your whim, I guess. Oh, gain more tension when fired up. Okay, I get it. And yeah, we're hearing some Dragon Quest Two Overworld theme going on as we are doing things, Torneco. More MP for you would be good. And what the hell, more HP, why not? Onward! Yeah, I'm gonna try and get to the end of this uh, section before I finish the stream. And now we hear the what is this, Dragon Quest 3? Oh, 
We running. We'll be operating as a small mobile force separate from the main army. Roger that. Let's scout out the lay of the land and make sure there aren't any nasty surprises lying in wait. Well, I never. Maybe you really have been paying attention to class. Yeah, oh yeah, I'm paying attention in class. Yeah, see, that's the only thing... Okay, that's not bad, but... If I could just... Turn it towards the enemy, rather than... Boom. Crushing... The enemy here. And yeah, we got some new enemies here. Goopies. Uh-oh. They bought three more Maw Keepers. Alright. Of course. Stand your ground. Uh -huh. Oh, I can get up here. Okay. This isn't good. They're going after the king. We have to protect him. Yeah, if I can take out two of them, I'm cool with that. Boom. Alright, let's go help out the king. Oh shit, Kandar's here. We got rid of Kandar. Oh, I wish I could turn into him. Oh, that's a shame. But you know what? I'll have him. I'll have him warp over here. And the King of Harbor is fine. Yeah, this game. You know, I mean, once you've seen one one of them sh them Dynasty Warriors games, you've seen them all. Although every every game tries to do something else, a little different. Alright, this one is a, makes it a massive hand and then smacks. Alright, let's let's head up here and take care of this guy. The king should be fine. Alright, we got rid of all the more keepers, at least in this section. Now we can take care of the rest of the monsters. If I hit this... Alright, now I'm fired up. And I've supposedly... I think I learned the ability that I gain more tension when I'm fired up. If I could friggin' hit a guy. Yeah, they do a good job of, like, making it so that the tension, you know, you just can't build it up. And, uh... They don't have any good tower defense missions. Does this technically count? Oh, l tower defense, like... I want to get Desdemona's thing. Let's see, where else is there? Okay. I almost got her, uh... Boom! Oh, yeah, like protecting the Jasso roots. Yeah, these games aren't... 
the best at that, but you know, you do it what you can. Where are the archers? Oh shit, they got themselves. Yeah, you know, it's just sad that, like, they gotta. They gotta. Uh oh. Alright. All of them. Very amazing. Wowie. Alright, these guys will shoot our wowie. I holy moly. Wow, that was amazing on how how quickly I destroyed those guys. Thank God. That's the archers dealt with. It should be safe for the king to move forward now. Take that, Goopy. Yeah, I love how he runs and then he's gonna fall, right? And that does even... That does even... Yeah, I'm gonna try and show Tornacos. I wanna show everybody's coup de grace, of course. Or coup de grace. And I bet you there's gonna be a trap right here somewhere. So let's start running to it. You're proud of me? Thank you, Brian. How's the board gaming coming? Poor Taluni's gonna run up this whole pyramid, and I bet you there's not gonna be a goddamn thing up here. Or uh, there better be a treasure. Or a golden claw or something. Come on. Whoa, don't jump down. Holy moly. A pale pearl. Alright. Oh, you bought the cities and knights for Catan. We might be. Yeah, you know, unfortunately we don't have anyone. Hey, Phoenix says, what's up? Yeah, unfortunately, we don't have anyone from Dragon Quest IV. You know, who can be... Or Dragon Quest Three. I'm sorry. Uh-oh. Mm. This takes him back, yeah. Actually, he lead, he led a pretty good life. Uh oh. Alright, I can be a hunter mech or items. But yeah, I like how we, I like how we referenced, um, whatever game he, whatever cave he referenced, to Loon falling down a hole and having to deal with, uh, oh yeah, so now we can teleport. I open that chest, we're good to go. Alright, let's see what the hell is going on. Oh, we got warp way back here. Run, Toon. Oh, 
I am turning into the metal mech man. All I can do is shoot arrows. Now there's a maw keeper up there. So we literally have to run all the way up there. For some reason, I don't remember this. Hey, Brian, have you ever played Citadels? That's a good card-based game. Where each character, where each person gets to pick, like, different roles. Yeah, that's a good game, Citadels. It's pretty easy. Take this Maw Keeper. Oh wait, that wasn't him? Or was that the Maw Keeper? Hey, Rock Guy. We All right, you guys can handle it, right? Time to head back into the pyramid. Oh, thank you, Mr. Heel Slime. That is not quite like a pyramid. Smell that. Tis high adventure lying in wait, so it is. All right, so don't walk on those blocks there. What about if it's not? All right, here we are. Ooh. No, 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 no. Turn in, turn into your creature. Turn into your creature. Turn into him. There we go. All right, now time to punch through our problems. Dodge. All right. Look at Torneko, he's summoning strongmen. That's the ability, right, right, right. He summons merchants, an army of merchants to beat the crap out of the enemies. Right, 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 right. Yeah, okay, I remember. All right. All right, let's use rough here. Um. Let's head over here before we head down. I think you've looked well. If you, if you, it's a card game, obviously you gotta play with at least three, four players, I think, and you have to. Well, you don't really have to do anything, to be honest. What's this? Oh, oh shit! I'd rather have that. Dump you. I right, picked up a knight errant. We get to turn into a knight. And beat the shit out of things. And who doesn't love that, right? Uh-oh. Now we gotta get the hell out of here. 
Oh, look at me. I'm going to summon all these little creatures. Yeah, let's check this out. Boom. God, that was quick. That was pretty awesome. Oh, dude. How amazing is that? He's using Helm Splitter himself. That's freaking cool. Wow. That's GD cool. Now, don't step on these things. Or you're gonna fall down. Or maybe we won't fall down. Yeah, unfortunately, it doesn't matter. It's panels if we step on it, but no, the hoods can just walk wherever the hell they want. Uh-oh. I wonder if I could use this to my advantage. I don't know. So, uh, if we get Yangus, he might have the underpants stance. Oh, you're still here. Yeah, it's hard to... It's hard to use him, man. Because he's all over the place. Alright. Any other items? I can pick up a hood. I don't need a hood. Oh, damn it. Yeah, Underpants Dance is, uh, is pretty good. Alright, we're pretty close to being done, I think. people are a bunch of jerk-offs, so sometimes you just gotta knock some sense in them. I guess. There we go. Knocking some sense in this night guy. Oh, that was really... That was really... Oh, look at that. He did that. He did the little fist pumpy thing. That was cute. Multi tentacles, I think he called it. Alright, so now it's time to finish off Field Marshal Donk for good. Him splitter. Yeah, too bad he's not technically Dunesian. Yeah, I'm just gonna use that. That seems to do a lot of damage. Where, oh yeah, I can't get closer. There we go. Use gyro blade, there we go. Almost got it. There we go. 
All right, now it's Gabo's turn to kick some ass. Flame breath it. Flame breath it up. Get closer. And there you go. That's his, uh... That's his, uh... Special as he does stampede. Oh, look at him using classic pun. I love it. You know what? I'm not mad about that pun. That's a good pun. And honestly, I don't know if. Let's just. Very nice. Crushing the enemy, telling him to to loo. Hmm, Maybe. That's it. Oh, right, I'm on fire. Yes. Yeah, maybe we could finally talk to Cesar and tell him, hey, yo, stop being an a-hole. Yeah, we're, we're close to the prince. Yeah, back, to, back off, Arba. All right, we got some nice stuff. We're going to actually evac before we head into this next one. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out Gabo. Or Ruff. And I'm going to put in Teresa. Alrighty. I think party changing is in here. Yep, Gabo or Ruff. Don't be a stranger. Whoever you want to call him, I'm calling him Gabo just because that's what I remember him as. Let's look at our something. Nope. We're kind of looking at my proficiencies. I'm on level three with that. She's on level three. Everybody's on level three. Proficiencies with the weapons is something that's good to do. Oh, right. You know, before we get head on out, I don't think this guy sells any new armor, but let's just check. Nope. I am off then. Back to Denisia. So how's everybody in the chat doing? I hope you're all doing great. How's everybody who's watching the video, even if you're on YouTube? Gotcha. Uh, will you stop charging off on your own like that? Soupy roll. Cesar. Well, look who it is. What's going on, Cesar? Why are you attacking the Harbans? It's been a while, eh, your highness? Seriously, did no one ever tell you about barging into places uninvited? Hm. What business is it of yours? Four more years of training and still you lack the discipline to stay out of others' affairs. I'd hoped you might have learned by now when your presence was neither valued nor wanted. Alas, you're the same thoughtless child as ever. Yeah? And if I'm thoughtless, then what are you? Or have you forgotten all the stupid things I've seen you do, Prince Paltalot? <laughs> How terribly sophisticated you've become. Why? Stop it, both of you. Is this really the time or the place for your bickering? 
In case you've forgotten, we came here to try and talk Cesar around. Talk me round? Am I to take this to mean you have turned your coats and sided with the Harbins? <laughs> Mother. Sorry. You will regret that. I just see a lot of similarities. Justice will be done. And those who betray our realm will suffer the judgment of steel! <laughs> This is where I had a lot of trouble. Please, you have to listen to reason. Your friend is in no mood to listen. We have no choice. And we'll be needing your help if this is going to end well. Same old Cesar. Once he gets that look in his eye, there's no talking to him. You're right. We never could get through to him when he was like this. We sure couldn't. He's clearly got some stupid idea in his head, and we're just going to have to beat it out of him. <laughs> Let's go! Well, Phoenix Edge, thank you for thank you for uh, stopping by, man. All right, so now we gotta take care of this guy. We want to try and get rid of his his buddies back here because they'll just keep warping around. Yeah, I want to get rid of these infernal knights. There we go, one down. Get out of my face. Yeah, because these guys will just pop up and start hitting you pretty bad. So I want to take them out first. And if I got to, I'm going to switch up. Where are you? Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't be coming after me. Yeah, that's a great ability. I love this one. Alright. Oh, man. I didn't want to have to use that yet. All right, now, ouch. Now to take care of Cesar. Whoa, 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 whoa. Get out of here, run away. Where's Torneco? Torneco, what are you doing? There we go. Ouch. Yep. 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 So you gotta use your dress or leave. I'm. Yeah, see, this is why I was having some trouble. Oh, damn it. These archers here, so now we're gonna have to go. Yeah. Archers. We'll need to deal with them before we do anything else. Leave it to me. I'm being in trouble here. Heal him, Torneco man. Yeah, these guys are annoying. Let's see, where's my heal stone? Bum!
Whoa, there's still one guy left. Get lost. Now, if you can get him to go from top to bottom, you might be all right. There we go. All right, now high tension. Where are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. All right, first try. Impossible. Father. First try. Me. He was tough. I had a lot of problems with him. I tried using Gabo and Mary Bell because I was like, oh, let's try out some other characters. And this battle took forever. And then I took out them and just put these four in, and I was able to handle it. Yeah, Cesar. He, he really, uh, he really is a jerk. What about if we, we're not gonna talk? Yeah, yeah, well, maybe we will see him again. Yeah, let's save our game, because I haven't done it all game. So we're pretty much almost at the point of... We're pretty much almost at the point of where I was when I stopped playing this game. So things are going to start to get blind pretty soon. Alright, so now we gotta go talk to the king. Yeah. And yeah, now this alchemy store... Is open for bi- oh, not open for business quite yet. This is still not open. Are you open yet? We have- we have- we have new weapon- or armor to buy, very nice. We got new weapons to purchase. Quartry sword, very nice. Prozax, very cool. Rich man's paw. Yep, so it looks like we're gonna be having to buy all new weapons and gear now. The prince. Oh, Cesar headed over here? When they said the crown prince, I'm thinking... I'm thinking, uh... Yeah, so they want me to check out some other stuff that's opened up. Oh, Prince Cesar is here to talk. Okay. That's a different story. Yeah, maybe he's made... Yeah, dude, Kiefer in this game would be pretty cool, right? I, heard you well. I didn't get anything else. Come again. 
Yep, all right. Mini Metal Man's not here yet. Whatever the hell this is, is not open yet. I guess we gotta go in here, as you can see the flags saying, hey, come in here. So now that we're in here, we can now come over here. Wait a second, I'm here to change your, your, your thing in Majiga. Vocations, if you want to change the last one, the trees is working in the Abbot of all trades. Vocation will open up new weapons, new skills, a whole range of playing styles. Prepare to spend some time training. So let's see what vocations we can learn. So with the warrior, we can use dual swords, regular swords, and axes. With the martial artist, we can use the sticks, the rods or whatever, and the claws. Spare the rod. Spoil the spoil the rod. Spare the spoil the. Spare the rod, spoil the child, I think it is. Alright, so in mages, you can use stabs and whips. Uh, wand stabs and whips. As a priest, you can use wands, uh, pikes, or spears, and rods. Thieves can use claws, whips, and bows. I think I'm going to keep uh, him as a warrior. Hmm. You already have so many people. And I love how they have the little... If you look at the little artwork, that's totally from Dragon Quest 3, Dragon Quest 3, Dragon Quest 3, Dragon Quest 3. I don't know what I want to do. Her deafness will go up. I don't know how much that matters. Hmm. I'll think about it. Hey, guy. Do we go in skills or anything? Yeah, this game's got like a little interesting job system. I mean, I guess it... I guess it, it does help bring up... Uh, bring more variety. So that's kind of cool, right? And this is the quest counter. Where we can start doing quests, which I'm gonna have to look up because I have no idea. The seven realms need your help. Bridging the gap. Corner cutting carpenter. He wants the project to repair Grand Pastors to Great Dunes. Could you borrow a few things from monsters? She's got a date in the Grand Dunes. Yeah, so I'll do these later. I'm not gonna take them on right now. And here we have our alchemy. Hello there, ducky. Just like the other lady would say. And yeah, as we defeat monsters, we get all kinds of stuff. And here we can, we can get slime earrings. How nice of you. And a slime drop. Two sprigs of cotton top. What can I do for you, dearie? So, this increases the effect of helping hand from Helix. And what are the. Oh, okay. So, as you get um, accessories in this game, right? You can actually add more um, stats to them, which is pretty cool. And the way to do that is collect items outside of town or through defeating monsters, right? So right now we can upgrade the slime earrings from just being helping hand the helix with 20%, and we can use this. It costs 100, and obviously it'll be going up. And now helping hand from Helix will cost will be 25%. So yeah, th this is a little different than how they did it in the last game, which I'm totally cool with. Excuse me. 
And yeah, since we have two gold rings here, we can choose what we want to do. So right now, it gives us a defense of, I think, five or something? Yeah, two. So you're going to add extra defense. More and more defense. And you can, you can have that gold ring being pretty sweet. With the gold bracer, reduce the damage by blocking, which I don't do. I got to work on that. But yeah, we can bring it up. Defense. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Maximum HP, it lets you go up. Yeah, the 3D version of Dragon Quest VII is good. And the Emulator 4, in case you don't have it, is getting better all the time. So yeah, you, you can't jump the gun. You have to go... You have to go by order or whatever. Yeah, so you have all these great item uh, accessories, which now you can use and upgrade them to make them pretty sweet. So it's always a good idea to come in here and take a gander and see what you can do. Alright. And then this one, you can reduce dance effect, magic might. You know, it brings up your magical attack power. Which could be good for something later with the spell spellcasters. Alright, so after you've checked all that stuff. We can now talk to... Excuse me, Desdemona. So now it's head off, heading off to the pinnacle of peace. And yeah, I, I don't know if these char these people say the same thing. There's a horsey. Yeah, the pinnacle of peace is pretty amazing. These old men just hanging out. Uh, excuse me. So here he is. The noble king. You stabbed my father in the back. That would be quite enough for now, Princess Anna. Are we to understand that your attack on I think that version has a fast forward committed against your father, the honored king of Dunisi? Well? Yes, your radiance. And I make no apology. The Harbans must pay for their crime. This man, their king, this faithless worm, oh. murdered my father in cold blood. You, you say that I... You believe I would... <laughs> I see that you mean to prolong this shame, Shirad. But I know the truth of your betrayal. Ten days ago, on the night of his death, I saw you, slithering from his chambers like the snake you are. So you see, when we found this beside his body, it came as no surprise. Tell me, do you deny it now? Do you deny that this is a feather from your magnificent crown? But, but I... I did not! I would not kill your father! I swear it! You dare lie so brazenly to my face! You who claim to be a leader of men! Silence! <sighs> Prince Cesar, if I understand you correctly, it was ten days ago that your honored father met his unfortunate end? Indeed. Exactly ten days this evening. If that is indeed the case, I can confirm that our friend, the King of Harbor, cannot possibly be the culprit. What do you mean? Why, that very evening, a feast was held to celebrate the founding of Harbor. The King here was kind enough to welcome me as a guest, and he did me the inestimable honor of remaining by my side throughout. I doubt that even the most cunning of murderers could have stolen away from me. Traveled to Dunisia, committed such a crime, and returned unmissed. So, you see, the vengeance of prey is not to be found in harbor. I suspect that rather than it having been the true king of harbor you saw, it was another. 
one bent on seeing him take the blame for this most despicable of deeds. You mean that I... I have been deceived? That his murderer was... Makes me quite the fool, quite the gullible fool indeed. Let a merry dance while my enemies and into all out war on my back. I take full responsibility for my actions. Your radiance, my life is forfeit. Mm. Hold on a minute, mm -hmm. Cesar. How exactly is you getting your stupid head cut off going to solve anything? He's right. And besides, how can you bear to not find out? Don't you want to know who's really behind all this? Hey, come with us. We'll find the real murderer together. Your radiance. Our young friends are correct. The prince must not be punished. What will it benefit us? It cannot bring back that which has been lost. Very that true. He live, that he seek out and apprehend his father's killer. But he helped eliminate the source of that which led him down the path of war. But, sire... Prince Cesar... Let us seek out your father's killer together. Yes. There are those who clearly care about you deeply. Do this for them, if not for yourself. Mm. Mm. My lord. Uh oh. The King of Marba is being a bigger man, literally. When you try to explain, you have every right to despise me. And yeah, Cesar, he looks fine, but his, like, art there, I don't know, his neck seems a little thin to me. Maybe it's just the way his head's, like, turning down or something. I don't know. Teresa's neck is pretty thin, too, now that I'm looking at it. I don't know how her head stays on her body. I mean... The Queen of Angina. Aniga? Aniga? Anig what is that? Angina? The world is the queen is the world's greatest sorceress. Yeah, how do you not know morph? Morph is the most important spell. It can turn you into uh, you know, the hero. Yeah, look, Cesar. Let's not let's not blame it on the queen already. So yeah, the High King is kind of like this world's Judge Judy, you know. Yeah, he is technically the king. And yeah, there you go. So yeah, we do get Cesar. The cool cape and the badass sword. We get it all. So that's pretty sweet. So yeah, pretty much Cesar plays similar to uh, Sorrow in the first game. Except not nearly as cool. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, Sorrow had an ability where he could pump up his own attack power and then keep using abilities. That might have been sort of broken. I don't know. But yeah, he gets all kinds of different abilities and stuff. He's cool. Yep, so now we're all reunited and it feels so good, right? I wonder tag tricks. 
The tag tricks are special attacks you can carry out by holding by pressing L2 to change characters while holding R1. These terrific techniques can have some meaning, but they can cost a lot of MP. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. All right, so there we go. Yippee Skippy, we now have Cesar in our group. He has Bang. He has Bang, sweet. I didn't think he had that spell. Coral Grief. And Bazoom. Hmm. What kind of stuff does he have? Let's see. He has a sword called Blood Letter. Wow, look at that badass sword. Yeah, we'll get him a better better armor. Uh yeah, I guess, I guess it all depends. The Dragon Quest one here or the Dragon Quest Heroes guys are in this game. You can play them via multiplayer, but uh I guess it really all depends on on different thing on different different things, I guess. I don't know how to explain that. Alright, so now they've opened up a new section of the world for us to go to. Yeah, so the forest is dark and full of terrors. And honestly, we're not even going there. What prophecy? Oh god, there's gonna be a dragon, I hope not. Although not like a you know, big purple dragon, but like... Well, I guess the dragon lord's fine, I guess. Yeah, more king, both brothers perish. So are they trying to maybe maybe now it's not brothers it could be cousins. The war of cousins. Yeah, this whole this game had a whole big like secondary like title like Dragon Quest Heroes 2 and the the Twin King thingamajig or whatever. I'm glad that they just said, yeah, let's just call it Dragon Quest Heroes 2. The title's already long enough, I mean. Yeah, I'm glad we were able to... I'm glad we were able to kick Cesar's ass. I wonder how much older Cesar is supposed to be. I figure he's gotta be a couple of years older, right? Yeah, how do we become friends? Oh, yeah. Four years of picking worth, worth the catch up on. <laughs> if I had to, I do like Denu, I do like Deni, um, Desmo, Desdemona, a little bit better than Isla, for being like redheads or whatever. But they're both very, I like them both. I will admit King Dork was a little over the top, but you know that. Your wife named not Tipper. Who's this guy? So he can trade, so they make new weapons and so.
brushing up on the secret to smithing. Alright, well, if we see the blacksmith, tell him, hey, hey. So now we have even more weapons to purchase. Yippee. Not that there's anything bad with that. But yeah, th now I'm going to be purchasing weapons till the cows come home. But at least now they have these I other items that we can pick up. And yeah. Be lucky. Be lucky. Can I help you? And yeah, there we go. We can pick up the... Yeah, King Dork was very cool. He didn't mess around. I loved his, uh, I loved his, uh, his coup de gras. So yeah, there's a thing called the Wildwoods. The wild woods. All right, Gabo. Wow, he looks here. Come and play drill sergeant for this kid. He's so much like crazy than you are. Yeah, Ruff can definitely keep up. I mean, he used to be a wolf. Oh, she, she mentions Kiefer here. I got a friend who's a prince, and he's a proper pain in the neck, too. That's right. Oh, look at that. How nice. Let's see. Yep, so what's going to happen is I'm going to end the episode here, I believe. And uh, I want to thank everybody for joining me tonight on the stream. And, uh, yeah, in the next stream, I will definitely figure out what I'm doing class-wise with characters. I will all, We will also be doing some quests. We'll be doing some stuff before we head off to the next land. So, once again, I want to thank everybody for joining me tonight on the stream. I have been Kenshin1913, and I want you guys to enjoy the rest of your life. Bye-bye.